today we're going to take down this or try to take down this big red oak tree and it's been dead since 2011 and we had another one about this size a little bit smaller than this fall over not too long ago so we're going to hook a chain onto it up here and we've got a tractor set up across the way there a lot of chains running to it and so we'll see if it'll budge the reason we're cutting it down is because look at that it seems to be rotted around the bottom and we don't want it to hit our compost house right here so we throw our compost and also we know that there's a there's a little animal that's living under here so he may come running out but we don't really know what's going to happen when we pull on this i may have to chainsaw it but first what we're going to do is we're going to measure the circumference of this log and then we'll compute the diameter that way we know how big it is how bad it is and how much it weighs Sixteen feet circumference. So that means you divide that by pi. That's a five foot diameter. And I'm above the, the flare here. So at this level right here we're five foot diameter on this trunk. Here's the math on how we figured out the weight of the tree. And it turns out that it's eight tons. Also, the little animal we saw living in the tree trunk turns out to be a big wood rat. And it was very elusive. I tried to get video, but couldn't do it. First thing we gotta do is cut that wisteria that camera girl planted a few years ago. We're gonna cut it right up there because once it gets up in there at the top of the tree, it's uh, got poison ivy mixed in with it. We don't really want that. We're just gonna tie a chain onto one side of it. And camera girl's gonna get in the tractor and just barely pull on it while I listen. I'm gonna listen to see if it starts cracking or moving. If it doesn't move with very little effort, then we'll have to saw on it. And I don't like it up here. Oh, there's all sorts of turds up here. All right, we've got the uh, chain hooked up. Way up there at the top, it forks. It's got a big crotch in it right up there. And got camera girl. She's on the tractor. And we're communicating by cell phone. Okay. Put it in reverse and ease back on it. Okay, the chain's getting tighter. Okay, that didn't work. Go ahead and take the tension out of the chain. How's it going? It's moving a little bit. It, you're moving the tree, but it, it's not, it's not going to break. Just stop right there. Okay. Pull, pull forward a little bit. Well, 
didn't go like we thought, but at least it's down. I'll probably have to take that uh, cedar out right there and put it on sawmill. <laughs>